Hey, this is Mike. Just want to show you this 2014 Jeep Grand Cherokee in maximum steel. Now this is a limited, so has a little bit of overlap with features to so kind of go over it. It does have the nice 20 inch wheels. These are similar to what you see in an Overland. But let's check out here in the front. It does not have the LED accents around it like the Overland. But to kind of go over what it does have. Projector headlights as well as fog lights. And that maximum steel color, I don't know if you can tell in the video, but it's a really neat color. If you get a chance, you swing by a dealership just to look at the color, it's worth it. Now one of the features this vehicle has is remote start, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. This one's a four-wheel drive vehicle. No towing package, but that's something you can add. It does have uh, the backup sensors as well as a backup camera. You see the little lens right there. You see the sensors right there. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the tailgate using the using the uh, the key fob here. Now you do have the shade here, which is retractable like so you have a rechargeable LED flashlight right there little storage pocket there's your subwoofer for your sound system and here's a cargo space now they do make really nice cargo mats to go here which I would highly recommend but under here is your spare tire which is a full-size spare tire with your tools and everything but you also have these storage bins they come out and you can dump them and put stuff in them and they're really durable they feel like a probably propylene material so they're really last forever type material waterproof so I mean you can actually put ice and drinks in there if you really wanted to those seats do fold down in case you need some more cargo space so in order to lower this lift gate we just push this button it'll beep at you a couple times let you know it's coming down and it'll come down so fuel cap is on the driver's side which is convenient now the doors are locked you can see the doors are locked in there and the key is in my pocket it's not in my hand I can just touch the handle it senses my hand and the key and it unlocks now I can relock right here so I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the doors and I'll show you how you can use the vehicle entirely without even taking the key out of your pocket as long as you have the key in your pocket you're good to go Gives you inside of the back door. You've got a bottle holder, speaker, wood grain accent, nice padded stitching, back seats, comfortable leather, leather seats. They are heated. You got your heated controls there. You have USB chargers. You also have a 110 outlet. And there's your, your vents. This fold down, folds down here, and you have cup holders as well as an armrest. You do have that latch system for the car seats back here. Nice net. This folds down. This is a 60-40 split, so that way you can have some cargo and passenger space, depending on what you need most. Up here we have heated side mirrors. Here's the inside of the front door. Bottle holder. Pocket there. Speaker. Here's your uh, presets for your seat. Power door locks, power windows, power side mirrors, controls, adjustments. It does have a wood grain here. And you can actually feel a little bit of the wood grain in there. It is real wood. It's not some cheap imitation. Let's see, it says cheap there. Now, here's your power seat as well as your lumbar support. You've got heated, I'm sorry. Yeah, these are heated seats, but also uh, you do have automatic headlights. All 
All right, since I used the remote start, I still have to push this button. That kind of turns everything on. Now, let me turn the fan down. Radio, turn that down. It's kind of warm outside, so I'm going to turn the fan a little bit on, but hopefully it won't interfere with the camera too much. So let's start with the steering wheel. Do you have a black leather wrap steering wheel? Nice, nice looking stitching there. And you got a lot of buttons on the front and back. On the right side, you have your cruise control settings here. On the back of the right side, you have a paddle shifter, your positive, your negative paddle shifters on that side. That's for changing it through the gears. Right below that, however, is a volume control. So let me go ahead and tune to a station. So I can control the volume on the back of the steering wheel. I can change the stations on the back of this side. And I'm gonna turn the volume back down. So you do have a lot of controls there as far as the radio on the steering wheel to keep your hands on the wheel while you're driving. Now on this side you have your Bluetooth controls and your voice recognition. Once you pair your cell phone, you can answer the phone here, that little green phone looking thing icon and then you have the uh, red one so you can hang up you can answer you can make a call here you can also push the voice recognition and say call so and so if they're in your phone book you can also say uh, adjust the temperature you can you know there's certain commands for tuning to a certain station stuff like that so the the voice recognition is a really handy feature you just have it takes a little bit of time to get used to it and to learn it it does come with a the instructions with how to you know get started and everything but I recommend um, you know definitely utilizing that feature if you get one of these vehicles or if you have one with that feature now right here you see an okay and a bunch of arrows that is for your menu system here now there's your gauges right in the middle you see it shows the um, speedometer now I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna change the speedometer to a big digital speedometer so it has like a analog looking speedometer and a digital speedometer. I'm going to scroll through the menu system here just so you can get an idea. Right here is vehicle info. It gives you your tire pressure and your different temperatures and pressures specifics to your, your vehicle in the given moment. Um, your terrain. This is pretty interesting because it has um, basically kind of tells you how far your, your vehicle is leaning and stuff like that. So pretty interesting. I don't, I'm not able to drive this off-road to show you that but just kind of give you you know shows you where it is your fuel economy um, that's skewed because the vehicle is new it only has a couple miles on it there's one of your, your trips you have two trips there and there's different cut screens to customize it and everything but there's your back to your speedometer up here we have a temperature outside and your digital compass is on the top right now you can change that if you want you can change it to you know your gallons how much gallons of fuel you're using or an hour or whatever stuff like that you have the wood grain over there kind of wraps around really sharp looking vehicle all right so right here is your 8.4 uconnect system and right now we're in the radio icon you see your icons here at the bottom and you have am fm satellite radio you do get one year satellite radio with a new vehicle let's see if i can aim this camera so you can see best a little bit of a glare on the camera but actually in real life there's no hardly any glare there it's it's very clear now your media this does have a cd player it also has a usb input auxiliary input as well as your Bluetooth and an SD card input. And I'll show you where all that stuff is in a second. This is where you can turn on your heated steering wheel, heated seats, and turn on and off your uh, auto dimming rear view mirror. Climate control is right here. You do have dual zone climate control. You can adjust your fan speed, where you want the air to blow, all that cool stuff. You can also sync your um, sync it to where you know everybody has the same temperature if you want navigation you can put a specific address now this is a Garmin system if you're familiar with that it has the same kind of setup and let me just show you what the map is right here 
to give you an idea of what it looks like. It's very easy to use. It looks awesome. Phone, this is where when you pair your phone, you'll have your phone book, you'll have recent calls, your favorites there at the top, all that cool stuff. This is where you'll make calls. You can actually you know, have a keypad there and make calls and stuff if you wanted to. This is where your Uconnect apps are. You can make this vehicle Wi-Fi hotspot. Now that's a paid service, but one of my favorite things is Travel Link and fuel prices. Has lots of cool stuff on there, but fuel prices are really neat. You can adjust it by price, sort it by price, and say you want to go there, you can click that place and it shows you exactly where it is and the phone number. You can say go now and it'll set your navigation to go there, or you can call them and ask them, you know, if they have a certain feature that you want or product or whatever. You can change the fuel type, but this vehicle's gas, but on other ones you can change it to diesel movie listings weather I mean there's all kinds of cool stuff here uh, on the travel link but lots of cool stuff there here's some redundant buttons you have a volume tune your fan control temperatures you can turn to actually turn the screen off up here if it's distracting you and uh, different climate control buttons here now right here is your eco mode it's on it's not actually flashing the, the cameras make it do that that saves you gas just by leaving it on. It does cut back on a little bit of your performance, but you know, who cares about that when you're saving gas? Trash control, you can turn that off if you wanted to. Parking sensors, you can turn those off if you're getting close to something you want and it's beeping, you just annoying you, you can turn it off. Inside here is where you'll find a power supply, but also your SD card input, USB, and auxiliary inputs. So you can hook up an iPod or whatever. Play music off of a card. I'm going to go ahead and put it in reverse. This is the 8 speed shifter. Put it in reverse. Now, when I put it in reverse, the parking sensors are alerting me and saying, hey, there's something right behind you. You better not back up too fast or you better watch out. And you can see in the, ba in the backup camera that, in fact, there is a vehicle right behind me. And just to give you an idea of what it looks like back there, it looks like it's right on top of me looking out the back but there is some room there and you can see this is a wide angle lens camera so you can see the bumper all the way out to the other vehicle so you can kind of give you an idea now when I turn the steering wheel it gives me an estimated trajectory of the vehicle when I'm back up so I'm turning the steering wheel it turns to let me know which way I'm going go or gonna go so I'm gonna put it back in park and then the, the, the back of camera disappears cup holders are there here's your four-wheel drive controls you do have a you know specific settings like say sand rock snow uh, mud and you can also put in automatic four-wheel drive low in case you're really going to do some serious off-roading here's a downhill descent button that is only for loose gravel it's not for dry pavement so don't use that for going down hills on dry pavement all right here's your center console and this lifts up it has two portions the first portion is Nope, this one doesn't have it. Some of them have two portions. This one doesn't have it. It could be because of the CD player. Inside here is your CD player, and you have a pocket there as well, plus a power supply. There's a quick start guide right there, too, which is pretty handy. Auto dim rear view mirror. You have 911 and assistance buttons right here. Right up on top of the rear view mirror is your microphones for your Bluetooth system so that kind of keeps them away from air blowing and stuff like that here's a place to put your shades or your cell phone you got a little floodlight there spotlight there on both sides you can open up your tailgate right here your garage door controls are here and it does have a sunroof which you can uh, you can open it up you can you can vent it like so and close it and if you just don't want the light in your face you can just close it like that make sure it's in park now this shifter is an 8 speed shifter it doesn't slide like a normal shifter it kind of goes back to a center position so I'm going to go ahead and put it in drive and then you can see it has a D right there now if I sh shift it down again it goes into sport mode. You can see it has like a cool picture of the Grand Cherokee and it says a little flag there, you know, 
showing you like ready to race or whatever. But you can see it says S. Let me get a little closer here. You see that S right there? Now if I if I in order to put it in drive, I don't go up like it you would think. It goes down to go back and drive. Down to go in S sport mode. Down again, drive. You see it just switches. To go neutral, I go up. Neutral park. Reverse, all that's up. So the shifter gets a little bit, you, it takes a little bit of getting used to because it is a little bit different, but it's not that much different. It's not that hard. All right, so let's look underneath the hood. Three point six liter V six. Pentastar, very good engine. Well made. Alrighty, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments or you can send me an email which will be in the description. Look, take a look over here. I don't know if you can see it with the glare. But I'm just kind of go over it a little bit. Maybe you'll be able to catch some of it. It's got five star crash rating, decent gas mileage, tons of features. But anyway, if you have any questions, let me know. See you next time.